a ton of official information about the OnePlus 8 Pro from OnePlus on their worldwide and China mainland accounts. A blog post by them confirming the use of the Snapdragon 865 LP DDR5 RAM and UFS 3.0 storage. So according to OnePlus, both the GPU and CPU in the OnePlus 8 Pro are getting a 25% boost over last time, a 16% reduction in power when shooting video, a 40% increase in overall video noise pixel processing power, a eye performance that is twice as good as before and 35% better power efficiency. This of course is not unique to OnePlus, but any phone using the Snapdragon 865 should see these sort of improvements. The high-end specs being confirmed by OnePlus themselves is also a good thing. Brings it in line with what we see in the S20 series with the best RAM that is available right now. And also UFS 3.0 storage, which is similar to what we see in the S20 phones. Wi-Fi 6 will also be in these phones, which is a very good thing. So we'll get the fastest speeds over Wi-Fi along with that 5G connectivity. Not that anyone is going to be using that 5G right now, but it's good to know we've got Wi-Fi 6 anyway. OnePlus also gave us details of a special team that they have called the FSE team. Standing for fast, smooth, efficient, apparently this team, their sole purpose is to ensure that the operating system works as smoothly and as fast as possible. OnePlus usually get very good reviews for their skin on top of Android, which is Oxygen OS, or if you're in China, they have a different version called Hydrogen OS. And the best display in a smartphone, yet the specs were confirmed again by OnePlus in these posts. A 1300 nits peak brightness when using HDR10+, 4096 auto levels of brightness within the screen display. OnePlus saying that this is one of the most you'll get in an Android phone. Also a pixel density of 551 ppi. A 2K 120Hz HDR10 Plus display with a custom MEMC chip, which apparently takes low frame rate media and turns it into high frame rate media automatically so that you can enjoy the smoothest experience on that 120Hz display. Thanks to an interview that OnePlus gave to Business Insider, we now know for certain that even the OnePlus 8 Pro itself will not top $1,000 as a price tag. According to the interview, none of the models in the OnePlus 8 series will go over $1,000, which does give us some hope that we will get a more affordable flagship in the era of very expensive 5G phones. So now that we really know more or less the specs of the OnePlus 8 Pro, we can assume that this phone is not really a competitor to the S20 Ultra, but more of a competitor to the S20 Plus. So yeah, OnePlus could be offering a compelling device in that price range, offering a ton of really high-end specs and not getting up to the price level of the S20 Plus. And more importantly, is the price of the OnePlus 8, the non-pro version, as we know that the pro version won't top $1,000. How cheap can OnePlus give us that OnePlus 8 device? And we wait to see how competitive that one is, although don't expect a cheap phone. The era of 5G is just bringing ridiculous price increases all around, and OnePlus aren't gonna be exempt from that either. We also got news today of something called Bullets Wireless Z, which is a new product that we'll be launching at the OnePlus 8 series launch event. It looks like Bullets Wireless Z are gonna carry the same or a similar design as Bullets Wireless. And there have also been loads of rumors about OnePlus launching TWS earphones as well. You just have to look at Oppo and Realme who have their own versions and it would make so much sense for OnePlus to launch their own version too. There have been rumors that they would launch them at the launch event, so watch out for these two products. We also got this from EV Leaks today, which shows some official cases for the OnePlus 8 Pro and also gives us, I think, our first really official look at the camera design on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Confirms what we saw from leaks previously, which is a triple camera array in the middle, a separate fourth camera off to the side, a really big microphone hole, and also a double flash on there. Actually, the microphone cutout really interests me. I hope they have a big microphone cutout and they can get some really quality sound in video. That would make a big difference to overall video quality. It also looks like the official cases that probably are going to come with the phone also are those hard type cases, which is a good thing for me because they're the ones I prefer over the jelly cases for sure. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now. But I'll see you in the next one.